Ladies and gentlemen, fan boys and fan girls, it's that time of the week again. It's the new release Wednesday show, and this is your NRW for August 12th, 2015. I'm your host, Patrick Michael Strange. Joining me on the show today, I have my man on the NRW crew, my man Matthew James, who's usually behind that camera, told me he has a pretty face, and so he's going to get up and tell you his picks for this week. And from uh, Painted Visions, Comics, Cards, and Games, the store manager at the store, Adam Martin, to deliver his picks as well. But before we get into all of that, our In Case You Mystic segment with Carla Speed McNeil talking about her book with Dark Horse Comics, Finder. Here we go. Hi, I'm Carla Speed McNeil. In case you missed it, I am the writer, artist, everything on a book called Finder from Dark Horse Comics. Ta-da! I don't know what else to say. Um, I've been doing this book since the uh, early 90s, and at the time it was just everything I like crammed into one book, which is what you did back then. So it's rather difficult to explain, but I think very rewarding for you once you get into it. What's going on, New Release Wednesday people? It's Matthew James, back in front of the camera again. Uh, we missed out on another guest this week, but I'm going to step in and give you guys my top three picks for this week. So let's get it started with my first pick. That would be Batman number 43. I'm really interested in Batman. I've been reading Batman since um, I started reading comics, and I have, like, from issue one to where we're at here. And I'm really excited to see some more of, you know, Jim Gordon as Batman. It's really interesting to me just to see someone else as Batman. I mean, we've had, like, like probably like over a thousand issues of Batman in his time. So getting to see someone else kind of don that mantle, especially someone so close to the Batman mythos as Jim Gordon is really awesome. So I'm looking forward to that. And we're getting a new villain, uh, Mr. Blossom. So we'll see what's going on with that. I have no idea what to expect with this guy. He looks like a maniac. So next up, I got Secret Wars number five. Secret Wars has been incredible so far. Um, just everything about like, I really like Doctor Doom. One of my friends is really into Doctor Doom. He got me kind of into Doctor Doom. I think Doctor Doom is probably one of the greatest villains that the Marvel Universe has to offer. And to see him literally remake the universe in his own, um, in his own vision is just incredible. And it's 100% Doctor Doom. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what happens here in issue number five. And my number one pick this week, always going to be something Spider-Man related over here for me. And that's Spider-Man number 20.1. So this is pretty much the conclusion of the whole spiral shenanigans going on here. And anything Spider-Man related, I'm going to pick up. I got, I got Spider-Verse, Spider-Gwen, Ultimate Spider-Man now, which is going to be Spider-Man. Um, just Ultimate, just, I'm like the Ultimate Spider-Man fan. Uh, love everything Spider-Man related. And I'm super excited to see what happens here in the final installment of the Spiral Saga. All right, guys, what's going on? This is Patrick, and these are my picks for NRW for August 12th, 2015. First up, I have from Boom Studios, America Town Number One. The writers on that uh, book, let me get my sheet of paper real quick, I need help on this. Bradford Winters and Larry Cohen, you know them from the TV screen, uh, working on Oz, Boss, Kings, and, uh, phone booth and Phone Booth and Cellular on the big screen. Um, these two screenwriters are working on this book with uh, artist Daniel Irizarry. So what if the American dream is no longer possible and we have Americans going into other countries to get work. Wild, crazy concept, right? If, Because, you know, generally they come to us, now we're going to them. Really cool concept, crazy concept, talking on our social political scene right now, very interesting. And uh, so we have this guy by the name of Owen down in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and they're setting up these America towns in these other countries. Really cool, interesting concept. I love the whole idea behind it. I'm going to check it out. Boom Studios, issue number one coming out. Uh, America Town number one. From DC Comics, my next pick, DC Comics Bombshells uh, from Marguerite Benet Bennett uh, on the writing chores and Marguerite Salvage. Probably brutalizing these two ladies' names. I apologize, um, but I love their work. Um, if you've seen the cool DC Comics classic bombshell statues that this whole comic is based on, then you're already in love with this whole concept. They've now taken the idea behind those kind of 40s-ish takes on the characters and made a comic book out of it and it's essentially uh, these characters we know and love set during this alternate reality right before the Second World War and Amanda Waller is looking to put together these characters to help end the World War. So a uh, really cool concept features the Batwoman uh, in this first issue. Uh, we have Wonder Woman showing up and Supergirl. Uh, there was also uh, Mira that we saw in the statues. I think we also had a Harlequin statue. 
really cool stuff. They're going to bring all those statues into this comic, and I love the concept, and I'm pro-females getting their love in comic books, so really cool. I'm excited about the concept, and this first issue was awesome. I got a chance to read it already, uh, thanks to DC Comics, so check out DC Comic Bombshells, issue number one. For my top pick, I have from Valiant Entertainment, you see me pimping the shirt, I love EXO, EXO Man of War, issue number 39. Uh, in issue number 38, uh, my man Eric of Dacia finally married, got married uh, and was finally able to have love in his life after so much trials and tribulations since the first issue. Um, in issue 38, he also got to talk to his dead previous wife from way back when, got married in issue 38, and he's now trying to now move on this journey and be there for, I think her name is Tala, his, his wife now in the comic book, and uh, he's moving on. So. This is a new jumping on point for readers, which I think is awesome. And after the wedding, we now have the Vine, the alien race that were left homeless after the whole dead hand uh, people destroyed their home world. They're now coming to Earth to now have a new civilization. And this starts off Exodus part one. So the Vine really don't get along with humans. Humans don't really get along with Vines. And they have Eric in the middle. And Eric just got married. A lot of crazy stuff going on, so I'm really excited about issue 39, and it's a great jumping point on if you haven't been reading Exo Manowar. So check that out, Exo Manowar, Exo Manowar number 39 from Valiant Entertainment, America Town, and DC Comics Bombshells. Those are my picks, y'all. NRW, August 12th. Check it out. Hey, guys, this is Adam, store manager of Pain Visions, here to give you my picks for this week. First, I'm going to start off with Harrow County number three. This is a really fun horror story featuring, you know, Salem witch trial kind of stuff. You got a witch that was burned alive, and then she said that she was going to get her revenge, so all of a sudden some kid grows up to be a witch. But right now we have this girl who's in her teenage years. She's working on developing how she's going to keep herself safe as she's running from her town. So uh, really looking forward to this issue. If you enjoy horror, really pick this one up. It's really good. Next, Ghost Racers. This is one of the Secret Wars titles I had no idea I was going to enjoy as much as I am. I read the all-new Ghost Rider with Robbie Reyes, which was a lot of fun, except for this time you get introduced to Eli, who's not your typical Spirit of Vengeance. Well, Eli apparently has more tricks up his sleeve than the regular Spirit of Vengeance. So this time, we now have Danny Reyes getting uh, his way out of Battle World, or somewhere on Battle World, and Arcade's looking for him. So I'm interested to see how that pans out. And then finally, my book that I wanted to pick four weeks ago, but Marvel said no, Secret Wars number five. It's here. I'm sure this book is going to be phenomenal. Now we have Doom just obliterating Strange, who was his best friend for some small time being, and we are going to have a statue erected of him next to the Molecule Man. Maybe we'll find out what this statue of Molecule Man means and how this is going to really progress Doom's uh, agenda now that he realizes there is a read on his battle world. So those are going to be my picks for this week. And again, Adam with Painted Visions, have a great day. All right, people, that has been our show for New Release Wednesday. I got the, the sexy Matthew Adams back in front of the camera and the ever sexy Mr. Adam Martin up on the camera as well, as always. Stop, stop, you know stop. how we do this. What's called him Matthew Adams? Matthew Adams? Matt, what? Yeah, oh, you what? called him Matthew, Matthew Adams. Matthew Adams, Matthew James, and Adam Martin. There we are. My bad. Y'all got, you know what? This guy I never is realized, not the Merc with the mouth. I, I know, right? <laughs> I just realized y'all both got two first names. Yeah. Matthew James and Adam Martin. Well, I've always looked at I, Martin as a last name. Uh, I think Martin works a little bit better, like, than James, but every time, yeah. like, when I was a kid growing up, and I'd be like, oh, let's see if this girl's name works with my name. Oh, no. that's, <laughs> look at that pill. <laughs> <laughs> it never did. Crazy. Well, that has been our crazy show. I was happy to have this, especially this guy in front of the camera, because I think he really knows how to talk up the comic books and stuff, and so I'm happy to have my man Matthew back up. Um, but before we leave y'all out, we wanted to talk a little bit about Fantastic Four. Um, apparently the reports are that it's not as fantastic as So next in the news, we're talking about be. Deadpool. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, did y'all want to say anything on Fantastic Four? I think Obviously you want to go right to Deadpool. I think everyone but... should give the movie a chance and... Just not, not in the be... theater. No, go see the movie. Even if it's on, like, you know, like, $5 Tuesday at, like, the Ghetto <laughs> Like, go check out the movie. But like, we don't want Fox own, to get money off of it. Form your own opinion, though. You know? yeah. Like, it might, it might not be, you know as bad as everyone says it is. Like, this could be one of those movies that's just, like, cool to make fun of. Yeah. Okay, you're right. It could be so bad it's good. So bad it's good. Or it could be good. I feel you. Yeah, it'd I be so good it's bad. <laughs> there was bad press on, like, the second Ghost Rider film. 
you know. But yeah. then at the same time, they had Idris Elba in it, man. It's gotta be good, but no, nah, it was it was whack. But yeah. I said, you give everything a chance. A, a, any movie in which Nicolas Cage wants to play a superhero is not good. You know he was almost Superman. Right? I know, and I why'd you have to bring that there? Let's go straight to Deadpool now. <laughs> yeah. So speaking of smart asses, <laughs> um, Deadpool trailer is has dropped, and it's essentially which I didn't know because I was telling you these guys that I didn't see the trailer, but apparently it's the San Diego Comic-Con trailer. Yeah, the I Red Band trailer. see that one, so I did see the trailer, but mm -hmm. they just edited a few things. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy they're gonna have this movie rated R with all the violence and the language and the blood in it that we need and want from Deadpool. It has to have it. I feel so sorry for all these pre-teens that think they love Deadpool because they don't know Deadpool. They think they know they Deadpool. They think they know Deadpool. And their parents are gonna be like, oh yeah, they're gonna watch the trailer. Oh no. <laughs> but it's for us adults. So, as much as he's telling you to support Fantastic Four, when Deadpool <laughs> comes out, we need to make a statement. Rated R comic book movies will do fine. Oh, yeah, we want that. So, yeah, put your money to We that. want Wolverine 3 um, to be Old Man Logan. Hello. Here's the, here's the issue with the adult. rated R. Okay. Like, they, should, they need to lower what, what it means for somebody to be able to get in to see a rated R movie. Because I'll tell you, like, as when we were growing up, okay. like, before we became 17, we would see those rated R movies, but yep. we'd give the money to some other movie. And that's the issue. Like, we want to see your movie. True. Where, like, kids grow up a lot faster than, like, you know, at 17, you know a lot more than what Deadpool is even going to say in this movie. So, they gotta be able to let, let him know a few things. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, let probably like a 14 year old see a rated R movie. They've gotcha. seen movie. They've seen rated R movies before. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. not even. It all comes out. Yeah. Let if the parents are fine with letting the kids see it, let them go see it. But yeah. yeah. They, but they just need to know that they don't need to cater these movies to like just children just, yeah just children because it's the parents that want to go see it too it's fine to have a rated r superhero film is i guess the bottom line that you're yeah. really, really trying to get especially across. when it's a character that, that feel what you're that. saying as well it's just yeah like yeah, they're it, gonna it, see the yeah. movie mm -hmm. people are gonna like 14 year olds are gonna go in there and see deadpool but they're gonna have given them their money to you know now you just ruined it for everyone they're gonna have some people stand up front of every movie theater now they actually he's gonna then kind of go stuff. give his money to pixels oh, oh. <laughs> nobody saw it didn't happen all right, y'all, check out Deadpool when it drops, and maybe check out Fantastic Four. My little one wants to see it, so I want to see it, you know, and I want to give Teller it a chance. Miles is a great actor. Every, I like everyone in there. Or I like hey, Kate Mara. Oh, yeah. You know, She's sexy. She flirted Miles with me, Teller by the way. Miles and... On the set of shooting. Um, I can't think of... What's up, Kate? What's his name? The, she played uh, a crazy chick. Michael B. Jordan? Michael B. Jordan. I, like, she played I, a crazy chick. I can't wait. Horror story. Did y'all... Hold up. I'm glad you brought him uh -oh. up. Oh! Did you see the Creed trailer? Uh, for the upcoming uh, Apollo Creed. It, oh, I have not. Re rebooting the whole Rocky thing, but it's now following Creed. Oh. You know, isn't it supposed to be the son of Creed? Yeah, the son. he's the son well, of Creed. Well, it's not a reboot, then. It's a continuation still. Tree, yeah, it's, you're, you're right. You got me. Um, I can't wait to see it. It's it's awesome. Unfortunately, Michael B. I didn't Jordan, the son of Apollo movies. Creed. Yeah, I didn't either. All right, so I guess Andrew! with that, I'm going to get them in front of the computer so that they can go see the trailer right now. We're going to sign off. Thank you all for checking this out. From my man Matthew James, Adam Martin. I said their names right now. And our boy Patrick Strange. That's right, y'all. Um, thank you for watching YouTube uh, New Leafs Wednesday. Um, remember to subscribe on that YouTube channel, Facebook, like us, and Keyhole Media Group, Painted Visions. We love y'all. Cost love. We out of here.